Tony, I guess first, do you remember your first goals for Tottenham? Yeah, as we, as we talked before, yeah, it was my first goal, it was against Karabakh. So, White Hart Lane, back to old stadium. And yeah, I remember from corner, Andros Townsend crossed the ball and just get a nice tap in because the cross was unbelievable. So yeah, I remember that. And the second one was a really nice move with Delhi, I think? Yeah, with Delhi, with my combination, with my brother. So yeah, missing that feeling with him, it was, it was such a joy. And it was my first game as well. So yeah, I scored two goals and second half I missed a big chance. So yeah, I should have scored a head trick, but still, still happy about that uh, and get a massive win. You were pretending you didn't remember. <laughs> I don't remember everything, I think, so because I love football and every single game I, I remember almost, you know, when people ask me and I try to remember that game. So, yeah, but especially when you score the first goal, you can't, that game is just, it's always in your memory. So, yeah, it was, it was great, great memory. What is that feeling like? Like you say, it was your home debut. And you, and you score not once but twice. What is that feeling like? Yeah, it's just actually crazy, you know, like, uh, obviously you, when you, when you join a new club, you just want to make an impact as soon as possible. And uh, yeah, first game, it was Premier League when we away in the, in the Sunderland and didn't play well at all. So I wasn't very happy about my performance. And yeah, when you, when you, when you come to, towards the home games and you just so get excited and you just want to make a huge impact, which is, uh, Luckily, I did, and uh, yeah, was very, very happy. Europa League and home debut, so it was, it was really, really good. That was nine years ago. How do you kind of reflect on the nine years you've now spent at Spurs? Well, it gone really fast. So, because my eyes and open, and it's now it feels like nine years gone, you know. So, but yeah, as a player, as a human being, I think I developed much more than when uh, it was nine years ago and uh, yeah now is also when I started there now is I'm club captain which is takes uh, more responsibility and uh, yeah but in a good way I step up and uh, I level up as a going to next uh, next step which is I want to go next step again so yeah it was time flies and uh, but when time goes, you just learn something, you know, from the past. So, yeah, it was it was unforget un unforgettable uh, nine years. You say you've developed uh, across those nine years as a player and as a person. How do you think you've changed and developed? I think I had a lot of good manager, a lot of um, good players, and also from love by from our supporters. I think this makes uh, me even just realize how grateful I am, you know. So, yeah, when you. S when 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 I was 22, 23, I felt like yeah, I was I was by, made by myself and I worked just my, myself so hard. But I just realized when I play in the Premier League and uh, in a big club, you just realize you need uh, help from the help to, from the teammates and uh, from the staff that you always trust. And yeah, I think because of that, I learned so many things. And uh, yeah, that's the main thing that. Uh, that I step up and grow up as a, as a player as well. You, you touched on it a moment ago, but to be captain now as well, what does that mean to you? Well, what can I say? It's just, it's a huge honor, you know, like also being a uh, captain in the national team for a couple of years and, uh, but I never expected uh, when I've been pro professional, never told that I'm gonna be in the captain in the club club sides and also national teams I never expected that but yeah when it comes it's a, it's a huge huge honor but it takes a lot of lot of responsibility you know you just have to do it's a club image that's your also has to be a good example for the players that you do everything right you make sure that you're doing everything right because we have a, such a young group that everybody looking up to the captains and if the captain do the right things the players do the, all the right things, you know. So it takes a lot of responsibility, but uh, I love to do that, you know. I love to do that, and I love the pressure, and uh, love being captain. So yeah, as a, as a, as I say before, is is a it's a huge huge honor. And tomorrow you get to lead the team out in a European game as captain for the first time. What's that feeling going to be like? 
yeah, I think uh, leading every single game is leading the team is is a special feeling. You gotta show really good confidence, and you lead by example as a captain. And uh, yeah, it's a Thursday night. Stadium is going to be full, so yeah, can't wait to get started. So yeah, going to be going to be really, really, really good. Just last one. Obviously, the one thing I guess that's missing from your time at Spurs is a trophy. The Europa League. How big an opportunity is this to win one? Uh, yeah, it's out, it, there's no hiding about this. So we are missing something that uh, that everybody was working for many years and long time, and uh, which is um, we are looking for. And uh, don't want to talk too early, but that's what we aim. That's what we aim for, and uh, we shouldn't hide about this, and we should aim for this, and everybody should take a huge responsibility because it's it's not easy because it's a lot of teams want to win this trophy and want to win this competition, and uh, yeah, but as we are having great players and great coach, and uh, I think we have a. Uh, Massive chance and uh, much massive uh, competition that we can we can achieve something special and uh, yeah, it's going to be tough journey definitely yes, but also it's gonna be enjoy yes it's gonna be joy and uh, I hope end of season that we can lift the trophy will be a, will be a dream.